Alright YouTube, so I'm very, very excited. Notch has made a new update. Uh September tenth. It is September tenth. <laughs> it's kinda of funny that I had to check that, but whatever. Um what Notch has done, um September tenth, two thousand ten, is added a server side inventory. Thank God. Oh huh, for since um Minecraft's first server for Alpha they've never had a server side inventory so whenever you left the server all your inventory items would be gone okay and then he also made the server save player locations when the player leave the server awesome made chess work in SMP um, survive SMP stands for survival multiplayer survival mode survive, yeah whatever um, and then he also made science work in SMP he made furnaces work in SMP and added monsters. Um, you can turn monsters on and off. He's still testing out. He's still fixing bugs with that setting. But yeah, let's download it right now. I just want to. I've been waiting for this for a while now. All right. So we go to download. Okay. And then. Oh, I need to log in. Sorry about that. Ooh, it's gonna take a second. Login. Oops, that's actually the wrong password. There we go. Yeah, sure, whatever. Remember it. All right, so let's go to download. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is it here. All right, so I'm gonna just click it. And it's just gonna download it. Let's just downsize that. Create a new folder for it. Let's call it Minecraft Server Alpha. Ah, uh, sorry about that. So let's open it. And let's just drag that over to the folder. Double click it. And let's hit run. It's gonna create a bunch of files here. First time running it. See? Alright. Now let's just close it and let's configure the server. First things first, open the server properties here. And we are going to put monsters to true. Alright. Alright, now your server IP, you're going to want to go to. Not notepad, what the heck? To get your server IP, this is very important. Go to command prompt, CMD on the start menu, do IP config, and then look for your IPv4 address, 192.168.1.5, that's it. Brilliant. Now we go to 192, well, before we do that, let me show you guys. Just write that down, what I showed you guys. Just write down your IPv4 address, and then your default gateway IP, gateway IP um, you need to put that in your browser right here 168.1.1 login we're gonna port forward um, in a second so server IP is 192.168.1.6 or is it 5? it's dot 5 yours may be different just put your IPv4 IP address here and then type in your default gateway IP address into your browser which is what I'm doing here and then go to uh, port forwarding slash port triggering okay let me just delete this one here so that one no longer applies because it's outdated for the new server now let, click add custom service name it minecraft you don't have to name it this just name it that to and then let's look at the port number. It's 25565. So 25565. 25565. You can change it if you want. The port number, it doesn't really matter. And now put your um, IPv4 IP address here. Mine is 192.168.1.5. Just to confirm that. Let's see. Let's put this um, IP address here. Hit apply. And this will port forward your IP address to your um, 
internet IP address, so anyone can can so anyone can connect to your Minecraft server. All right, let's close that. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to edit? Yes, the name of the server. Let's do animation shorts one. Uh, online mode, make sure that's true. Max players, let me switch that to six players so it's not overloaded. Let me close that. Okay, now let me start the server up again and let's see if she runs. Uh, she's over here. There she is. Double click it, hit run. And I'm preparing to start region. Dun 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 dun. Ooh. Um, and once it's started, let me close that. Um, go to see my IP. People, all the people out there that are saying, you're such an idiot for showing your IP address. I don't care. Done. There we go. So it's all set up. Beautiful. Now to test our server, open up minecraft.exe. Let me just close that. Quit. Let's log in. It'll take a second, obviously. Oh, look, and it's downloading packages because of the Friday night update. That's very cool. Um, it'll take a second to do this. In the meantime, let's just wait and discuss what Notch has done besides um, adding monsters and stuff to on the server. As I said, he added monsters, he updated the server so you can save things in your inventory. He also fixed furnace issues, um, what's it called, um, chest issues, so when you put things in the chest there's no glitches, and when you burn iron or anything in the furnace, um, it doesn't disappear when you open it back up and stuff. And he fixed a few other issues with certain items, and um, what makes the Minecraft server survival mode the best is that you can actually fight monsters with other people. I think that's the greatest accomplishment in this update. If you don't, if you agree with me, thumbs up this video. If you don't agree with me, uh, just don't thumbs down it because I don't want to thumbs down. Anyways, <laughs> um, let me just close that. Let's check that. Oh, okay, good. I don't want to make this video extremely long. I just want to show you guys that it works. And uh, oh, there we go. It's done. All right. So the host always connects with his um, IPv4 IP address along with the port number. People from the outside connect to your internet um, IP address, which I showed you guys just a second ago. Two five five six five. So colon and then the port number. Hit connect. Logging in. It'll take a second because I'm running the server and uh, the Minecraft client both at the same time. See, it's like lagging like heck. It's just because I'm running a very CPU intensive job right now. As you can see, it works. <laughs> um, let me change the graphics here real quick on the game. Make the viewing distance. And it's just like black now. It's perfect. Yeah, it works. It's just my computer's running the server, the client, and then it's running Cam Studio on top of that, and then some background programs as well. I'm gonna try Game Booster here. And yes, this works for me. <laughs> it just crashed. Switch to gaming mode. Come on, stop those unneeded programs. Stop them immediately. Let me just pause the video real quick. Okay, and I'm back. So let's just run the client again and let's see if it works this time. It's not that Minecraft has some error, it's just that my computer can't really handle this many programs running at once. 192.168.1.5 colon port number 25565 logging in. Downloading terrain. Do, 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 do. Remember guys, subscribe, rate, comment. Remember, thumbs it up too. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, it's... Alright. 
Come on, computer, you can do it. You can do it, computer. There we go. Let's go to options. <laughs> the render distance is far. No wonder why. Oh, that should be good. That's as far as I can go. Alright, you see, I don't know. That might be a, a little bug in the new server package, or it might just be my computer, but all these little weird colors. Yeah, he's probably still working that out. But anyways, this is how the server, the new updated server for Minecraft looks. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys, well, maybe, if I can, I'm going to show you guys the um, updates that he's made to the server, like the furnace chest and stuff. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Remember, subscribe. Thanks for choosing my video. Or whatever. I don't know. Alright, see you next time. Bye.